Hey YouTube, Lisa here, and uh, we're back. Uh, we're back from making videos again. And as you can see, today we're going to be talking about mini pigs. <laughs> this is Cosmo. Cosmo is my mini pig of uh, 10 months now. We found him when he was two months old. So Cosmo is going to be about a year old now and uh, he's already 40 pounds. He was four pounds when we found him. So that should tell you he's not exactly uh, miniature as they like to say, but uh, really miniature is just a title for anything under the thousand or six hundred pound range that the commercial pigs get to. Mini pigs, as we know them, are a combination, they're sort of mutts of the pig world. Uh, they've been bred to be smaller and smaller and smaller as time has gone by. Uh, a lot of that breeding was done for medical research laboratories uh, back in the 80s as well. Uh, they first originally became popular in the 60s with the Vietnamese potbelly pigs. Um, there was many other smaller sized pigs that were kept as pets throughout the world before that, but not quite as popular as when the Vietnamese potbelly pigs came around to the Americas and folks started keeping them as pets. In the end, what is currently the considered the American mini pig is essentially a mutt of multiple types of pigs that were smaller and they've been bred for their size and their domestication and how nice they are with other people. So with these guys anytime you hear uh, teacup or micro or nano or any of those for the most part, you can generally say it doesn't exist. There's very, very few pigs, uh, very few breeders out there that actually have bred things that are considered mini to other folks um, that go under 30, that stay under 30 pounds. There's maybe a handful out there, and those are usually thousands of dollars. Uh, so the average mini pig that you will find um, whether it's on Craigslist or uh, down the street or even sometimes on the internet from backyard homes can reach, uh, you know, a hundred pounds easily. Uh, Cosmo right now is only 40 pounds, but many pigs do not stop growing uh, until around five years old. Uh, the majority of their growth is in their first three years, uh, but they can continue growing small amounts even up to five years old. So it's definitely a long-term pet and something that you're never gonna really know 100% how big they're gonna get until you've already had them for several years. Now, as far as age goes, they are considered um, juvenile age until about 16 months. So Cosmo even being you know just around a year old is still considered juvenile, he hasn't even quite reached his adolescent stage yet. Um, adolescence is usually from about 16 months to about 5 years old. So their life expectancy is actually between uh, 12 and 15 years. So this is very similar to adopting a dog, uh, a smaller dog that lasts a, a good amount of time. They're definitely a pet that you want to be prepared for and prepared to have for many years. here is indoor only. Uh, we do take him outside to get some sun and to go around in the grass, root around with that adorable nose of theirs, but he pretty much does live indoors with us uh, and he loves it. He loves to take naps on the couch and hang out in here with us and they really are uh, 
family type pets. They they like to be around others. Uh, they do uh, very much get attached. Uh, their emotional uh, emotional intelligence is incredible, uh, more than I ever would have imagined before having one. Another thing as part of their intelligence is tricks. Uh, Cosmo actually does know a few things. He does know how to sit, and he knows how to shake. Shake. Good boy. Shake. Shake. Good boy. Good boy, Cosmo. Now if they're outside, you do have to worry about the sun. Uh, their skin, they can, uh, they can get uh, skin cancers and things like that if they're out exposed to the sun all the time. So it's definitely good for them to have a shelter. It's necessary, absolutely necessary for them to have a shelter if they're going to be kept outside. Uh, another thing is the heat. Uh, down here in South Florida, it gets really hot outside easily, sometimes into the uh, low hundreds. So if you're going to keep them outside, consider bringing them in in those times of the year that are really, really warm. Mini pigs, pigs in general, really are much cleaner than people think. Uh, they do, I mean, he goes in the litter box with no problems whatsoever. Um, he goes in the litter box, uh, much like a cat, it just needs to be a big litter box as he grows. Not that you should ever use cat litter for a mini pig. They definitely use different things. I personally use the pine pellets that are often used for horse stalls. Uh, but I uh, expect there can be a little bit of a mess around the litter box, much like a lot of cats can make a lot of mess around their litter box. But other than that, they do try to be very clean animals. The last they thing I wanted to talk to like you guys about is mental stimulation. Now, these guys are among the most intelligent animals on the planet, um, up there with uh, elephants and dolphins, and it's very, very important that you stimulate them both uh, mentally and emotionally and keep them busy. Things like this uh, ball pit where they have to root around through the different balls to get different treats is something simple that um, uses a, a natural behavior that they already have and stimulates their mind and gives them something to do so they don't get so bored and it helps with um, keeping your pig less destructive inside your home. If you think Cosmo is as cute as we think he is, you can also follow Cosmo on his Instagram at Cosmic Piggy and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe so that we can continue to bring you these videos. Uh, please let us know in the comment section below how you think we're doing. If you have any questions about your own animals, any other mini pig questions, just don't forget your veterinarian is always the best source.